Media Day from Washington, D.C., and we take a look at the non-conference games for Purdue this year. How about November 14th, the defending national champion Villanova Wildcats at Mackey Arena on the Big Ten Network. Cannot wait for that one. A tremendous way to essentially kick off our basketball coverage. Got a game against Louisville. You see some of the other ones, including part of that doubleheader in Indianapolis as Purdue will take on Notre Dame and Indiana battling Butler. Uh, pleased to have a few of the Boilermakers here with us. Vince Edwards, Isaac Haas, Caleb Swanigan. Welcome, guys. Good to have you here in D.C. Isaac, I had an assignment from Coach, so I need to start with you because he wanted the first question to be for you. I said, well, how's Isaac going to handle this different workload this year? And he said, I don't know. You're going to have to ask Isaac. So what's well, going to be? It's different without A.J. I mean, you go from 15 minutes to maybe 20 or 25, he was saying. How's that going to change things for you? Uh, I would say, that you know, definitely you have a lot more pressure on you. Um, but, you know, you definitely have to stay on top of your conditioning at this point because I know I'm going to have to play a lot of minutes, uh, you know, with A.J. being gone. And, uh, and then my defensive responsibilities are going to pick up because uh, I'm not quite the shot blocker that A.J. was, you know. But uh, uh, I know that, you know, with my talking, you know, being in the right place at the right time, we can keep the other teams from being where they want to be, uh, getting the shots that they want to take. So I think ultimately it's going to help our team defense. What did you change in conditioning? Uh, I usually get up in the morning. Uh, around you know 7 8 a.m. you know make myself small breakfast and then come in and uh, get some condition on a high resistance elliptical and uh, for about 20 30 minutes and then get lots of treatment and then I'll have weights and practice and then I'll come back in later that night and shoot okay Vince what's the biggest priority in your game this year I would just say uh, keeping that confidence and uh, being uh, having that ability to step out and be vocal as a leader. Um, I feel like, you know, Ray Phil did a great job for that last year, and uh, that's something that uh, we have to pick up the slack for. And um, just, just like I said, keeping that confidence, I feel like that confidence would just be key for me this year is to stay confident, kind of not shy away, you know, later in the game, you know, just not take myself out of plays, not necessarily forcing any action, but just being more involved as the game continues to go on. The other thing Rafael did incredibly well was defend, and that is a hallmark of this program. Who picks up the slack defensively for him? Uh, that would definitely be me. Um, I want to take pride in doing that and uh, guarding the best players on the perimeter, so uh, uh, that's one uh, challenge that I'm looking forward to this year and uh, having the ability to step up and take on that challenge, and uh, I think I'm ready for that challenge. Caleb, there was some thought maybe that you would end up heading to the NBA. You decided to come back. What swayed you the most in that decision? Um, the biggest thing that swayed me was just um, talking to the NBA guys and feel like I didn't have a solidified spot there at this moment. So I decided coming back would be the best for me, and then I feel like I can help Purdue in a lot of ways and uh, continue to win. Where can you make the biggest jump personally in your game? What was the feedback that you got in terms of what they want to see you improve on? The biggest jump is going to be everything. It's just um, embracing the role that I'm in now and just continue getting better at it. And I feel like if I just continue doing things that I'm doing now, um, it's going to show, you know, I worked hard last year. I'm still working hard, and I feel like over due time it's going to show. We talk a lot about the front line for Purdue, uh, you know, a massive group here, no question about it. Ultimately, what undid you guys a little bit last year was the press. And so give us a sense. We talked a lot about it with Coach Painter, maybe too much, frankly, uh, about breaking the press. But give us a sense of, of how much you guys have worked on it and where you feel you are in terms of, of the personnel and the mentality that it takes to get through that. Uh, I mean, we've worked in a day in and day out in practice, and we will continue to work on it. And uh, just having our size, you know, we need to be able to see the floor and get the ball over and just take our time, but, you know, not go too fast, not go too slow. Uh, and I feel like we have the right guys and the right pieces to do that. You know, we just we're capable of doing it. We just have to go out there and get it done. We know that last year ended in disappointing fashion for you guys in the NCAA tournament upset by UALR. As soon as a game like that happens, you absorb it clearly and you, you ruminate about it a little bit. And then at a certain point, you need to turn the page. What's the message as you guys head forward in terms of kind of remembering what happened but moving on? Uh, I would say, you know, when we had Kevin Eastman come and talk to us, and I think we both can agree on this, is that uh, he gave us an important quote, we work until. Uh, and that's a, a motto that we have instilled into our team. And we're going to work until we win a Big Ten championship. We're going to work until we win a national championship. And uh, this is how we're going to you know, take things this year. We're going to literally finish every workout. We're just going to keep working until we can anymore, until we get it right. 
and I think it's going to be a major uh, factor in how we do this year. What's the mentality change that you've seen with this team, Caleb? Um, the biggest thing a lot of people ask me about, like, how do you feel? Could you be better than the last team? And, um, you know, it's just keep getting those answers. Are you disappointed on last year? Is it fuel to the flame? No, not really because we're on to the new year. And um, the biggest difference, you know, last year I felt like I was confident and the team was confident, but this year I'm sure. And that's the difference in my approach. It's not, it's not confidence. I'm sure we're going to do well. I'm sure we're going to win games in the NCAA tournament. I don't lose any sleep on it. I know what I'm doing is the right thing. So it really doesn't uh, dwell on me losing last year. That's just part of it. That's part of the path. Who do you think can step up and have a big year that maybe was one of the more complimentary players from last year, Isaac? Uh, I do believe that, you know, uh, I believe I can step up as well. Um, you know, Big E and Vince were obviously a huge factor this year, and uh, I kind of came off the bench a lot, you know, with AJ being the main factor this year. So I do believe that I can possibly step up and make a huge difference. But uh, honestly, off the bench, I do believe that Jaquil Taylor is going to do a really good job. Uh, he hasn't really played much this year. Right. He had one chance. You know, last year he got a double-double in the one game he played in the Big Ten. And uh, I think everybody's going to be a little bit surprised by how well he's playing. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot out of him this year. How about Spike Albrecht, what kind of contribution should we expect from him? Uh, you're going to expect uh, what you would get out of any fifth year. You no know, gritty, just smart, heady, really crafty. You know, he's not the fastest point guard in the Big Ten. He he won't be, but he, he knows how to pick his angles. He's played in the biggest games, and, you know, he, he, he's been somewhere where we're trying to get to. So to ask someone like Spike, he's just he's always he's always there, leadership, and just being ready for us and helping us through everything. So he's been a good piece for us as well. Quite literally in the biggest games, right? <laughs> yeah, That's big moments no, literally. in that biggest game, too. Well, really good to see you guys, Vince Edwards. Isaac Haas, Caleb Swanigan. Thanks, gentlemen. Best of luck this year. Thank you. All right, thank thank you. you. We